You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Saturday Night Live After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show, it's AfterBuzz TV's SNL After Show. Hey everybody, welcome to your SNL After Show. My name is Keaton Markey. I will be your host tonight, and with me I have my lovely co-host, Malcolm, <laughs> who's back again, and our special guest, Dave Foley, you guys. Hi. <laughs> now, uh, Dave is a comedian, an actor, a writer, a director. Mm -hmm. You are like a renaissance man. I, uh, except for the, uh, <laughs> the lack of any actual talents. Yeah. <laughs> Because all those things you mentioned are easy. <laughs> well, we, we will talk more about um, Dave and get into his career a little bit later, but let's just jump right on into this episode. What are you guys' like, overall thoughts about this episode? It was, a, it was the Christmas episode. They've been mm -hmm. doing this for, I guess, 38 seasons now, and it was Jimmy Fallon and the lovely Justin Timberlake. Yeah. You got nostalgic <laughs> there for a second. You, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, we didn't have that's, that reaction. Right? I'm, just, I'm just saying that's that's that makes me feel very old. If Jimmy Fallon makes you nostalgic, well, <laughs> I, I still see him as an upstart kid. Yeah. Who's this kid? <laughs> What's this kid think he's doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I okay. Well, I'm hesitant in. to say my reaction because off camera before we started, you had a semi-negative, like kind of hesitant reaction. I'm like, oh, I don't want to say how good I thought it was. No, now. you say no. I thought it was really good. I don't. I'm kind of the same way. I don't watch it all the time. You know, yeah. I just watch it when I'm coming in here. Um, but it was like the third one I've watched this year, and it was by far the best one I've seen. Mm -hmm. Well, I have. That's actually the first episode I've seen in a while. Mm -hmm. I, have, I couldn't even tell you actually the last. Like I didn't know who anyone was in the cast anymore. <laughs> I, you know, except for Seth and uh, and uh, who else is still in there from the. Uh, Horatio like, Sands? Is he? No, 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 he's not even there. in there anymore. He's there. I don't know. I don't know maybe Bobby Moynihan. Bobby he was Moynihan maybe a is. Feature. I know Bobby yeah. Moynihan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, yeah. Everybody else is fairly it's new. Very Taren lot Callum. of turnover. Yeah, all they're all. New. I know. Well, I know. Um, uh, um, Kate what? Keenan. 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 He's been there a long time. So yeah. I know Keenan and the guy who does the uh, the uh, the the principal character. Um, he also uh. does the Obama. Oh, um, um, Jay Farrow. Jay Farrow, I like him. I know. He's so great. Is the only I saw him as a feature player. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all I know. That's, so it was a complete new uh, group of people <laughs> for me watching it. Um, my only thought was I was I know it's a Christmas episode, <laughs> but there was an awful lot of singing. Yes. yes. There was an awful, an awful lot of singing. It was like the musical edition of SNL. Yeah, yeah, which kind of, I don't know, as a sketch comedian, always feels a little bit like filler. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. I mean, when you, I, I... What did you think? Uh, well, it's it's hard for me not to like something with Justin Timberlake. <laughs> he's he's, he's he talking wonderful. about it. You're I know. I, I love me some JT, and I, I think Jimmy Fallon is great. I, he is. I love his uh, late night show, and I'm so excited he's taking over the Tonight Show for Jay Leno. I yeah. think he's, he's hysterical. Oh, wait, he's taking over the Tonight Show for Jay Leno? Because they didn't mention that oh, during yeah. the episode. No, we did. Yeah, they I, I, I yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he's bringing it back to New York, and I believe he he's going to bring smoking back to the show, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it will be in black and white. <laughs> you know, I, I Jimmy Fallon, I think, could pull it off. He, he, he he's adorable. takes so many risks, and yes, he is adorable. You can't, and he's just so excited about life. Yeah, like, I know. Even if you, it's like the worst thing ever, he's just... <laughs> I, I, I love Jimmy Fallon. He's, you feed yeah. off his energy, and it's absolutely contagious. And so the show opened up with the Rappingville, which was a callback to. I know you haven't seen very many uh, episodes recently, and I don't know if you've ever seen one of the Bills know. before. But it's a callback to ever this recurring character that Justin Timberlake has. He's done. It started with Omeletteville, and it's him dressing in like a giant suit and uh, singing. They bring it on down Omeletteville, or <laughs> or. 
some other type of, he's done Veganville, he's done a bunch of different Villes, but today it was Rappingville. Oh, what did you think of Rappingville? Oh. Now I understand why they did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right, because, but other than that, I was a little in the dark about the whole thing. Yeah, I was just like, this is escalating quickly. I brought the host and the musical act like 10 seconds into the episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I didn't get it. So I guess because I didn't get the callback. You have new viewers. I know. Here, I know. So I know. It's okay. Awesome it's okay. Guys. It's okay. <laughs> I love this one. I thought this is hysterical. I love AD Bryant, and I felt yeah. like she really had it. She doesn't usually get to shine. I don't think they don't. They don't let her kind of. She. I. I wasn't. She didn't carry that sketch, but. She yeah. wasn't overshadowed by those two. And it's very hard no. not to be overshadowed by those two. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thought that she kind of stuck with that there's some woman yelling in the crowd every time, like, I'm yeah. a day -day. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that was I distracting. That. Yeah. And but she played off of it and she kept it going yeah. and uh, I appreciated her for that. And yeah, I, I enjoyed the sketch. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't my favorite sketch of the I night. just didn't get it. Yeah, you guys didn't, didn't get know. it. So it's like And even the jokes I didn't get because I wrote I was trying to like they did that they were doing the songs and they kind of cut for a second, they were talking about sack a deck, and I didn't get it until I wrote it down. And then I like, could put the pieces yeah. together in my head. Like it just was over my head the entire time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. I at first was like, wait, what? I didn't. I, I watched it a second time. I was like, oh. I started writing yeah. a question mark and then, like, oh, no, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they say it in Buffalo. Really? <laughs> yeah. Where they, where they worship God. Sock a deck. They worship God. God in <laughs> Buffalo, too. <laughs> oh, well, moving right along to the opening monologue, you guys. Yes. Which. More singing. More, uh, more singing. More, yeah. More singing. Now that you said that, I'm really thinking about it. We're, we're, we've had the cold open and the opening monologue, two musical numbers. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Well, it, well it's actually four musical numbers if you count all the musical numbers in the cold open. So. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cold open was like musical number after musical number. And a dance, dance number, so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so in the opening monologue, um, I was very surprised, and I was happily surprised that Justin Timberlake didn't was not included in the opening monologue. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon is the host. Let yeah. him do the opening let him monologue. Be host. Yes. Yeah. So I appreciated that until and Paul McCartney showed up. Give Jimmy his moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give it to Jimmy. I thought, who's next? Actually, Jesus will show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus showed up later in the episode, yeah, but we'll yeah. get to that. Um, but I, I love. Love Jimmy Fallon's imp impersonations. I think they're hysterical. He's yeah, he is yeah. great at it. And do you do any impersonations? Uh, the only the only celebrity impersonation I've ever done is David Bowie, which oh. I did, well. which I did for a Christmas special. Yeah, I did years ago. Where I, I recreated the Bowie Bing duet with. Uh, <gasps> Me as Bowie and Joe Flaherty as Bing Crosby, and, and we did a version of the uh, Little Drummer Boy, Peace on Earth. Can, can we get a little yeah, sample? Yeah, you can't just say that. that. Um, it's a, just a little well, We won't put you too much on this. Well, mine, we couldn't. We, uh, it was a backstory, because we started, we, we shot, originally I recorded just doing the Peace on Earth, Drummer Boy mm -hmm. duet. For those who don't know it, very famous Bing Crosby, David Bowie, weird moment in television. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and in this, in this, in this, it's called the True Meaning of Christmas Specials, and at one point, I'm trying to discover the, what the real meaning of Christmas specials is, and I'm visited by the ghost of Christmas specials past, <laughs> who is Dave Thomas's Bob Hope, and he takes me down and shows me Bing and Bowie. Uh, so we recorded the song, and then we found out we didn't have the rights. We found out, oh, we don't have the rights uh, to the music, and I thought, oh my God, we don't. I, I guess we can't use the Peace on Earth counter melody. So then, all right, I'll, I'm on my way in to record it. So I went. I wrote a new, wrote new words, and with my musical director, we wrote a new, new counter melody. <laughs> To go with Drummer Boy, and then after we uh, we uh, shot it, we found out no, the, the producer had got it wrong. She didn't get the rights to Drummer Boy. Oh no! <laughs> so uh. we then had to go in and record gibberish over top of it. But I got you. <laughs> so essentially, we did uh, that, and uh, and I rewrote a new song, a new counter melody called uh, uh, "Where Do the Monsters Go at Christmas." <laughs> Which is basically goes, Where do the monsters go at Christmas? Hey! That, is that awesome. was good! Oh my that god! Was really good. <laughs> I think that was better than the Jimmy Fallon David I Bowie. just jumped back I, to <laughs> Labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's what I Labyrinth. That's yeah. the first thing I thought too was Labyrinth. <laughs> oh, it's a great movie. All right. uh, I well, did like Bowie's mic on the sketch. Yes. Like they, like the the, it white, was the white one compared to everything else. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. And I mean, 
Uh, did you guys, I honestly thought all, like everybody might have, or more people would have shown up or more people would have come in. Yeah, I started thinking Dylan, then Dylan yeah. was going to show up and then Bowie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is a neat little trick to make you disappointed to see Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. You, know, you, you have go, to be clever to make people McCartney's upset here. that Paul McCartney I bet shows you Bowie's up. Bowie's gonna be here too. <laughs> oh, it's just McCartney. Oh, it's just really that was it. Just yeah, McCartney. Just saw Paul McCartney. Huh. Yeah, it was a little bit okay. of a yeah. little bit of a letdown, Paul. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was it was fun. It was very quick. It was it felt like a very quick monologue, which I like it when they don't like kind of drag them out because it's like just get the show going like, yeah you know don't it, I feel like the the monologues are very self-indulgent so yeah. it's like just let's finish it let's get the rest of the cast involved and yeah I, I thought have yourself a merry little Christmas sounded beautiful yeah. they should record something together yeah well I mean, yeah <laughs> I mean I just I just keep thinking uh, I kept waiting for like David Bowie to come out yeah really, yeah, you said that. yeah yeah I guess also I'm just going, or Dave to come out and do his yeah, impersonation, oh, yeah, something like Dave, that. Yeah. I was just watching, going, "Oh my God, Jimmy Fallon is getting to sing with Paul McCartney." Right? <laughs> That's just light. The world is insane. I, I you could kind of even see it on his face. Of course, he, he was like, "Oh He's my so God, excited. I'm it would be wrong for it not McCartney. to be on his face." <laughs> yeah, there's no other way you should react to being on stage <laughs> with Paul, Paul McCartney, McCartney than to be amazed that you're there. <laughs> Uh, and I loved how he was like he, when he would start singing certain notes, he'd back away from the, he'd from get the really mic because he'd know that he uh, could not sound as good as the amazing Paul. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought it was a good opening monologue. There was no need for Justin Timberlake, and uh, no, I, I imagine it takes a lot for that to come out of your mouth. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always need a little JT in your life, but not during that opening monologue. <laughs> That's my daughter coughing. <laughs> yes, we do. You guys, we do have a special, another special guest. We were going to save it for a little bit later to surprise, but uh, Alina is here. Hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to put her on the spot really quick, but we'll talk to you more later. But yeah, you can go back and play on your phone. We don't want to, we don't want to interrupt you. I'm sure it's a very important game and I don't want to like ruin your score. You or totally anything. threw off the yeah. I'm birds. so sorry. Totally <laughs> if, Minecraft. Yeah, but if you don't totally focus on Minecraft, your whole uh, alternate universe can crumble around you. I, I can't. Her high score coming in third is going to get an asterisk next to it, interrupted by Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. I am the worst. Um, well, getting into some games, a little, here, a little segue, you guys. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> Family Feud Celebrity Edition. Um, what did you guys think? It was no celebrity jeopardy. I, you know, I, I found, I found it, I found uh, Justin Timberlake and and uh, Jimmy charming in it mm -hmm. because they're both clearly making each other laugh. Yeah. yeah, I like that about it. But it, it is a sketch that I think Saturday Night Live has done a billion times. You yeah. know, the aren't celebrities dumb sketch, <laughs> which the SCTV did great. Aren't celebrity dumb sketches too? But, mm -hmm. but that's the only thing to me was that just uh, it's, you know. I was in the bathroom while it was on TV. Oh, fun behind the scenes. <laughs> and I actually Thanks, thought, welcome. so like, I was listening to the impersonations the first time yeah. from you know the other room. And I thought the Ashton one was dead on, whoever did uh -huh. Ashton. And Taren I thought whoever Gill. did yeah. Allison Hannigan was dead on. Like it actually sounded like it could be them. Like, yeah. I mean, the yeah. sketch wasn't, and I agree about Timberlake and Fallon being like, they're, you can tell they have chemistry and they're just having they're fun. Having fun. So yeah. kind of fun to watch, but I thought those two impersonations were really good. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was, I, I, so, Jimmy Fallon, I felt like, it, even when he was a cast member on SNL, he was kind of notorious for always breaking character and always yeah, laughing, yeah. which I enjoy because it kind of you know breaks that third or that fourth wall. It's like okay, they are human too; they're <laughs> yeah. laughing at themselves. Like this is great, but and, and it's funny to see him and Justin kind of because they're such good friends, kind of work off each other. And I thought Justin's Jimmy was dead on. Yes, it was, it was great. So yeah. funny, and so was his his. Um, uh, uh, Sheldon. 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 Yes. Yeah. I forgot That's the actor's good. name. But um, Tim Par or Jim Parsons. Jim Parsons. Jim Parsons. Yeah, but, his Jim Parsons was good too. Yeah, but but he's really doing Sheldon. Yeah, he was he's doing Sheldon. Really. He wasn't doing Jim Parsons. <laughs> no. It was kind of funny. Though. They're like, oh, Jim Parsons. I was like, no, that's that's, that's the just character. Sheldon. He's like, yeah. On yeah, Big yeah, Jim Parsons. Yeah, yeah, he's not actually a physicist. <laughs> yeah. He is not. He is not. But I love Keenan Thompson as uh, Steve Harvey. Yeah. I, yes, he was funny. Yeah. Was I, funny. I have a special soft spot in my heart for Keenan just because I've yeah. watched him since I was a kid on all that. Same. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm a. I'm I guess a I just Keenan wish there was guy. another turn to the sketch. Yeah. You no, know? It, 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 yeah, it, it just kind of was the same jokes that you're going to yeah. get. And yeah. I mean, the whole Justin Timberlake thing, like, you know, what, what, is, what do you do to be sexy? Be Justin Timberlake. Yeah. I mean, yeah I mean, come on, Justin. 
Oh, you get don't off have, your high horse you don't about have that to joke. Say it, Justin. You agreed. You were one of the eighty nine <laughs> people that like voted for that I outside of the yeah. poll. <laughs> and and for the record, you kind of did have to say it. It was written. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was in the sketch. <laughs> okay, I'll give you guys that. So to the next sketch, which was kind of like the digital short of the episode. Let's do it in my twin bed, which was my favorite part of this entire mm-hmm. episode. I love when they they feature the girls. They don't yeah. do it very often. They don't let all of the girls be funny together very often, but the fact that they did it, and they did it so well, I loved yeah. it. Yeah, no, I thought it was, yeah, it was a well done piece. Yeah, like, uh, again, more music, but still. Okay. Well, <laughs> That's what so, I was okay. thinking. Like, how, was how, how how this is <laughs> three for four. Yeah. Three for four with music. Yeah. yeah. Intro. Yeah. yeah um, three for four. I'm going home to my girlfriend's mother's house for the first time oh. in a week. Uh-huh. And I'm just sitting there, like, oh my gosh. Like, I mean, not that anything's going to happen like that, Dr. Chua, but. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But just I'm sitting there like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Twin bed. I don't know. I just I think it's so funny because I, I remember the first time I went back to my boyfriend's parents' house or his room still has all these sports posters and like uh-huh. the, like the kind of the dinosaur border along the edge. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I remember they're like, oh, you're staying in here. I'm like, wow, I just stepped into a 12 year old boy's room. This yep. is awesome. Yeah. Yep. My third grade participation little league baseball trophies are still up because my mom yes. has never put them away. So like <laughs> like these little trophies every kid got. It's a re- residual. Field of virginity. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> In the sketch, they had a um, JT uh, Justin Taylor. What's his name? Taylor Thomas poster up. Like, yeah, and talked JTT. to you. I cracked up. Mm-hmm. I loved me some JT. Completely forgot about him. Gosh, I my favorite like. Disney Prince was Simba just because it was voiced by JTT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I loved Simba because I, yeah, I was like the biggest JTT. Maybe you have a thing but. for like initials, Justin Timberlake. Maybe it's Jonathan just the J and the T. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a big crush on WC Fields? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but, that'd be an odd one. <laughs> you said yes, I'd have been a little thrown. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the, the let's do it in my twin bed made me happy. And I liked that, that Jimmy was, like, didn't even take a big role in this. He just yeah. Yeah. had a little, like, cameo, and then he was done. And the we girls... had the big rapping section. But it wasn't, like... It was about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so excited. I love just, Kate McKinnon. You just tuned it out. I yeah, guess. I, I kind of, I mean, because yeah. he had been singing the entire rest of the Oh, it's not. Timberlake, I'm out. I'm not yeah. paying attention. Sorry, yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> You don't. You, you're JF, not JT. So mm-hmm. I, I can't have anything work to like do that. with you. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, so that that was my favorite episode. Uh, if I we we sometimes grade these, but that that's probably the only and not episode, but that's probably the only sketch I would give an A to. Because mm-hmm. the other ones, I was like, they made me giggle, but like not to the part where this one like kind of hits close to home. <laughs> so next is the Barry Gibb talk show. Okay, more music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now that you're, now I'm getting it. And I didn't catch this while I was watching, but you're absolutely right. That's four or five things that have happened that had music. There's only one so far that hasn't. Yeah, yeah. That's how four or five works, Keaton. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know who Barry Gibb was. No, <laughs> I googled it. I had to Google it in the middle of the sketch to like get a thing. Uh, <laughs> I did not have to Google it. <laughs> Having lived through it. <laughs> Having lived through that era. Uh, and then I was like, "Oh, is he like really known for being was like having a horrible temper?" I don't yeah. know. I, 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 I was trying to remember that myself. Is that something that came out about uh, the Bee Gees that uh, Barry Gibb had, yeah. a, a, had a, a, a vicious temper? I don't know he seemed so nice at the end when he came in, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just showed up. Yeah, I was, was like, "Oh, sport. that's who yeah. they're making." Yeah, I got it yeah. now. But uh, so maybe that was maybe that was the rap on him. <laughs> I, I guess, but I mean, when I, th- this is what I have to say. Like props to SNL to find a way to overshadow Madonna. Right? Yes. That was like, how do you, it was like Paul McCartney again, like they made Paul McCartney not exciting. They made Madonna like a <laughs> secondary character. Yeah, like like she was a feature player. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I did, didn't even realize it was Madonna. I thought it was somebody dressed up like her. And then I was yeah. like, wait. And then they, sh- they f- flew her picture out and I was like, that's not that really, way. oh, it's yeah. Madonna. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just, I just kept thinking, who's that lady? <laughs> I was like, somebody looks really like Madonna. That's like a good impersonator. Yeah. Uh, and then she didn't even do that much when they finally didn't. got around to her. They, she, she confused just, me. Yeah. Uh, when she put in the bl- the, uh, the grill. She got like too serious and then... I couldn't figure out what the gag was. I didn't know what, I didn't know what was going on. I, I just got uncomfortable. I yeah, I couldn't figure <laughs> out. I thought they must have forgotten to beat. 
That's what I was thinking. You think uh, they, they, yeah. they, they skipped something? Yeah, they must have skipped something because I don't. Yeah, yeah put, I agree. Put it didn't in make the grill sense. in. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't, and then that's. And then uh, we all just felt like this. We're just but, okay. Huh? Like, but why, does, why does the grill make her scary? Yeah, I, I mean, Madonna's I kind of a little intimidating in the first place. I don't think she needs like gold teeth. I don't know. I didn't get. I, as I say, I think maybe a beat got skipped. Something and they got couldn't left get back out. to yeah, it. They yeah. missed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's live. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that one kind of was. But it's funny. And Justin Timberlake looked so much like Robin Gibb. It was crazy. Really? Well, I, <laughs> it was really creepy. It really was creepy. He looked so much like him. <laughs> His teeth. I thought the teeth were great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. But even it, I was surprised. You know, I, I read a couple articles after I saw this episode, and people were kind of surprised that they even did this sketch because Robin Gibb had passed away so recently uh. in 2012. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it was kind of. I guess that's probably why they were like, actually, Barry Gibb, you should come be a part of this, so we don't feel bad about doing it. Yeah, uh. Paul McCartney's here. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet. You can meet Madonna. She'll yeah. be on the same sketch. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've met her before, but yeah, that one was kind of like. Bleh. Yeah, that one. Yeah, the rants were good. It was very, very. Yeah, it, was, it was very Mike Myers ish. I see that. Yeah. There's yeah. a very Mike All Myers ish right. feel to the to the to Jimmy's performance. Yeah, when Jimmy would just go off. Yeah. Which which yeah, those were probably the best parts. Yeah. Jimmy being Jimmy, the excited and you just could not stop him. Yeah. But um <laughs> can't stop Jimmy. So next we saw Justin Timberlake um pretending to be Kanye West in this uh in his first performance. Um singing only when I walk away with laser shows. Right. <laughs> it was just lasers. <laughs> we were just at a club. And it was it, was a good laser setup. Yeah. yeah. Very, very elaborate. It was intense. So like, his face is like Big like brother faces popping in and out in the background. Like he was breathing him. fire out of his mouth they're and clearly eyes. They're catering at one point. to like the late yeah. night druggy crowd. Like that was like my thought. Like they're trying yeah. to get something like a uh, like a show, like a visual show with all like lasers going on. Yeah. I, 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 I yeah. don't know. I didn't yeah. listen to the words. Yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't make out what the song was about. I couldn't understand him, and I, all I could be like is like, "This is a rip off of Kanye's performance, which I didn't even like originally. So why are you ripping it off? But the lasers uh, are cool. Yeah, like you do flashy remember, lights, and I'm into it. I remember <laughs> seeing them first back in the uh, late '70s with ELO, and thinking <laughs> lasers were cool then. Lasers, lasers are still cool today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be, so cool. be clear on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you think lasers are cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It reminded me of like going to Disneyland and they like have like that big like it's not they, they have the fireworks show and then they have like the world of color show and it's like yes. laser light and the like water the show. World yeah. of color. Wow, how many times have you gone to see that? Doesn't, doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't. Um but yeah that that it it was like Kanye meets Disneyland for me. Mm -hmm. Which that's I don't know. A, I think that's like, illegal. I, I know. I was like <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed, but that's what I Felt. I like to call ahead when I go to Disneyland just to make sure that's. <laughs> 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 this isn't a Kanye day, is it? <laughs> make sure Kanye's not there today. <laughs> so next we go into weekend update, which personally, I I like weekend update, but this one kind of fell flat for me. Usually I get excited for it, but I was kind of bored with this one. Yeah, a lot of the jokes didn't really work. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a form. I mean, you 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 know, it's. Such a comfortable format. You st I think I still sort of enjoy it mm -hmm. anyway, even if the jokes aren't working. Yeah. Uh, but I, and I guess they're. I guess the what's her name? <laughs> I'm Cecily so bad. Strong. Cecily Strong. I guess she's being groomed now to take over for Seth Meyers. For Seth, if, when he Once goes he to goes late to night. Show, yeah. yeah. Has she been doing late night all year? Yes. She has. This whole season, yeah. yeah she's yeah. been doing it with Seth. And Seth leaves, I think, in a couple by February. February I think yeah. he'll Something be like gone. Yeah. So are they going to put somebody in with her, or just have her do it? I. I feel like they're gonna need to put somebody They're in there. Have to is like would be my opinion. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I I, I, I want them to put another girl. I really want them to put um, Kate McKinnon in with her. And but then they would if they put Kate McKinnon in with her, they're gonna take away a lot of different characters yeah. they can have come in because Kate always. Although especially during this episode, I really realized that she. She plays a lot of the lesbian characters. Yes. <laughs> every yeah. Single, yeah. <laughs> every single, she plays Ellen. She play to um. Who did she play today? She Billie played she was uh, Jane, Billie she Jean was Jane King. Lynch. Jane, Jane Lynch. Lynch. Yeah. Uh, That's I, true. I wonder if she's played Rosie before. I don't know. It's just like she she always. Yeah. Start throwing lesbian names out there. She's probably played them. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. She must see that at Reed's. Oh, lesbian. Oh, lesbian. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Kate, we're gonna have you play the so, lesbian today. Okay, got you guys. Somebody's like, all right, who's gonna do Ellen this week? Yeah. We already know, guys. Like, just, <laughs> just throw it over. Her Ellen is great, though. I love her Ellen impression. She like went on Ellen DeGeneres' show, being Ellen, and then Ellen interviewed her as Ellen. <laughs> it was great. YouTube it. It's all right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. I swear. Yeah. I swear. It's really awesome. Um. So yeah, we had uh, kind of Fallon kind of pass the baton to uh, Seth Matt Myers for um, taking over his show. Mm -hmm. We also had uh, Mayor Bloomberg showed up. Yeah, <laughs> good for and being a mayor. Yeah. He delivered his jokes fairly well. You know, he was <laughs> deadpan. Yeah, yeah, just like sitting like <laughs> they kind of just like forgot about him. He was just kind of. Yep. He really is tiny. Yeah, really little guy. Because I can't imagine Jimmy Fallon being that big of a guy. Jimmy's and about my height, I think. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Then Bloomberg was really short. He's a little man. That. He's yeah. a little man. Oh. Well, good for him. I don't him. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the jokes weren't that good. Yeah. Uh, and then Billy Jean King was nah. just, uh, yeah. Nah, nah. Well, then we get to wake up with Kim Ye, which... <laughs> So this was a sketch that they had earlier on in the season. Oh. It, yeah, so it, it's kind of a, you know, it recalls to that. But I hated it when it first came on, but I loved it this time. I thought it was really funny. I thought Jay Farrow was spot on with Kanye. I thought he yeah. fixed the little things that he wasn't so good at last time they did this sketch. And um, uh, what, Nassim... Pedrad, I think that's her name. Um, I, I have it written down. But yeah, I thought she was just so funny as Kim. Yeah, she was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a good. It was a good character, like impression sketch. Yes. I don't yeah. watch the Kardashians. I don't. Either. <laughs> it's okay. You're um, you're better for it, guys. Don't worry about it. You're <laughs> well, not I know you do. Yeah. I know she does. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I've, I've, I read the transcripts of Kanye interviews when like they happen because they're usually in the headlines because he's comparing himself to something. Yeah, yeah. But it's usually when I hear other people ranting about him. It's the only time right. I'm aware that he's still in the culture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? But I loved. I did see. Did you get the music video? Did you see that? The actual music video that he did with Kim no, Kardashian? No, no, I didn't see it. You're again. You're a better man for it. Because yeah, it's I've, just the, I've almost completely stepped out of pop culture. I you, believe you, <laughs> this. It's for the best. <laughs> yeah. That video, but the, the mocking the video was really good. Yeah, and I don't. Did, have you seen the James Franco? Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. gosh, who is the one who does it with him? I'm blanking. Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen um, and James Franco mimics that same video of them oh, on yeah. that motorcycle. Yeah, okay. like yeah. literally with I don't know. It was so quickly after the actual music video came out that I think that probably has more views than the, the actual, actual music video. Music yeah. video. And it's it's just so ridiculous. I mean. Again, they don't have to do anything. They can just mimic that video. It was kind of like with Sarah Palin when Tina Fey used to do her. She really didn't yeah. have to do much. She could just <laughs> yeah. exactly mimic her, and you're gonna. And it's just hysterical. Yes. So, waking up with Kim Ye, my second favorite sketch of the night. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, don't, I, I wrote and, Keaton's the and expert, it, <laughs> and it had less music than some of the sketches. Right. It still had music. Right? But now that I'm thinking music. about it, oh my god. Weekend update had no music though. True. There was no singing during weekend update. No, no singing. That's two pieces. They, they, they missed it so far. <laughs> they missed the beat. Yeah. <laughs> they were supposed to, and they forgot. So we got two pieces in the show so far that don't have a musical component. Yeah. Well, then we jump right into an all musical component. Now that's what I call Christmas. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, the, oh, right, uh, right, right, the uh, right. commercial parody. Yes. Um, yeah, I can't remember what any of the jokes were. Well, it was just kind of everybody, Doing again, impersonating. Impersonating people doing Christmas songs, yeah. Jimmy Fallon did um, Michael Buble, then he did Pitbull, which was surprisingly really good. Yeah. 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 Um, and who else did he do? Snape. Severus Snape. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. literally had written down because Malcolm, Malcolm and I are both huge Harry Potter fans. So. Mm -hmm. um, there you are too. Ones. I oh, thought yeah. I saw Alanis Morissette was good. Whoever did it was that. a good impression. Cecily yeah. Strong did Alanis, yeah. And then somebody did a good Zoe Deschanel. Um, I don't remember who it was, but oh, that's the, that was the, oh, I missed. Uh, it they, was. Um, Oh my god, I, I the, keep, she just did oh, the look. Noelle Wells. She's one of the new featured players and she's the same one who um you liked do, doing Alice and Hannigan earlier. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So the featured that. player getting up in there this yeah. episode. <laughs> Shining bright, Noelle. She's like the only new girl, so she's great. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I thought Bobby Moynihan's um Andrea Bocelli was the best. <laughs> was great. Was that him singing it? 
<laughs> it couldn't have been. I just, I just say, want to dream and hope that it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. If it was, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. he should go on X Factor and be like one of those guys that like yeah. shows up and yeah. he's like, oh, they can't sing, they can't sing, and he opens his mouth and you're like, what? But um, yeah, I think they're fun, but I thought it went on too long. I think yeah. they're fun. They do those, but if they last like thirty seconds or a minute, like it can, like be like a yeah. fun couple jokes or something like that, but they went too long. Yeah, yeah. Well, so going on from music to another one with no music, A Christmas Carol, which yeah. I thought was horrible. This was <laughs> I painful. It was so bad. Yeah, like, it wasn't great. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy was. Jimmy gave a, a. He gave it everything he had. A yeoman's effort. <laughs> We're making magic. <laughs> it was just, it was, I just felt like it was like a cheap gay joke and that was it. Like, yeah. there's no, there's no more layers to kind of the yeah. sketch or anything. Yeah. No, that's the whole joke is what if Scrooge, uh, yeah. one of the realizations he had to come to is that he was gay. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's it. That was it. <laughs> that, that, that was that one was joke it. that got stretched for three minutes. For a so. really long yeah. time. Yeah. That one was tough. I didn't, Yeah. I put a big X next to it, but then I, wrote, I turned it into the miss for Xmas past when I was writing. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was clever at the time. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's how Malcolm takes notes, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. You, you, do you have some doodles over there, too? I don't know. Yeah, I do. We could actually. auction I don't know them what these off, things Malcolm. Are. Uh, they're Your Twitter, Twitter followers would love this. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, they... <laughs> Try to read into that. <laughs> Okay, so I don't even. We don't even need to discuss this. Uh, this sketch no. really, because which which one? The Christmas Carol. Scrooge. Oh, we just did though. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're moving on now. Very quickly. Too late. I'm so too late sorry. to not discuss it. I'm now. so sorry. Um, you can't undiscuss things. I know. Okay. Well, let's just move on to Baby. It's cold outside. Which I love that they brought this up because I I did karaoke last weekend and mm -hmm. somebody sang the Baby. It's cold outside because it's really funny because it's it's basically a song about date rape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or just simple it. seduction. Or like, know. yeah. You know. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I I mean, know. That's, a, that's a negative twist on it, I I'm think. I'm sorry. You that song, to... I always loved that song, and they ruined it for me last week, yeah. so I'm ruining it for all of you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baby, let me see your eggnog. Baby, it's cold. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> I mean, I'm well. sorry. She does say maybe just a cigarette more. I mean, she's not. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not, not racing out she's that not door. She's against it. She stays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's fighting. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, we see the aftermath of after she stays. This I thought it was a really good idea. Yeah. I was cracking yeah. up when they did that. <laughs> yeah. It had music, so now I'm like, oh, no, 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 no it's been brought to like the front. Of my head. I can't like it because there's music. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was clever. I thought it was good. Yeah. I thought their chemistry was awesome. This is like the, like the most I've ever liked Cecily Strong in any sketch I've mm -hmm. ever seen her in. Um, I thought she was great, and who knew she could sing? Yeah, like, she's got a great voice. Yeah, yeah, really good voice and cute, and I don't know. I, I felt like they hit all the jokes right on. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I, I, really I love this yeah. one. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, but uh, it had a happy ending. Wait, I was actually really thrown with like it? it had a happy ending, and they ended up to like, and then like I don't remember how it ended up. They ended up. Like they were gonna, he didn't kick her out or something like that, and they were you. I don't know. I didn't like it. You didn't I wanted like them that to kick her out. Ending? Yeah, I wanted them to get rid of her. Like that, they set it up the entire time. They didn't get rid of her. Yeah. Not that like you shouldn't like, in that situation, guys let a girl sleep over. But like I'm saying, like, I yeah. thought we were gonna like yeah, just so we're very clear on you manners should, and things. It's the holiday should, season. You should let her sleep over <laughs> and possibly have one later courtesy date. Yes. yes. That's if it you're a gentleman. Hurt. After those right? rules yeah. for. <laughs> Yeah. Upstanding young lords. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Dave and Malcolm rules of yeah. dating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a note card. It's not really long. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I I really enjoyed that. And yes, it was more singing. So there's only been there were only two sketches the entire time that didn't have singing. That didn't yeah. have singing. Yeah. Wow. And, then, and then we go into Justin Timberlake with his second performance. Which was a pretty song. I liked it. Yeah. I, liked I the really song. liked it. Par Pair of Wings is what it was called. Mm -hmm. And he like did the exact opposite of the laser light show, Kanye. Right. Yeah, it was very acoustic and yeah. stripped down and it was a good song. It was like Christina Aguilera's Strips album. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it was quite like that. No, game, unfortunately. But <laughs> <laughs> um well, the only thing I kept thinking, like, it was a really pretty song, and this uh, arrangement was nice, and everything yeah. was lovely like that. But he was singing with his eyes closed the entire time, and then he'd, like, make his faces, which is fine, because I don't know anything about music, and I'm the least musical person on the planet. That or how cool. to make ladies get all excitable. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. He closes his eyes. He's thinking of oh, me. This is, yeah. He's, he's picturing me. me. Oh, that's exactly what it was. Well, what no, you he's do? thinking of Jessica Biel is who he's thinking about. <laughs> no, you were, you were exactly what he was just saying. You're like, oh, he's probably thinking of me right now. <laughs> Anyways, but he'd sit there and he'd kind of like peek every now and then. I kept imagining he was peeking at the frets so he knew where to put his hand. Like, oh, whatever he's singing. He kept yeah, I've never seen him eyeball. play guitar before. Me neither. I, that, that's a good point. I've never really seen him play an instrument before either. So. Yeah. Look at Justin. Oh, he, can, he can do it all. Yeah. Oh, Justin. He is a very talented man. He's another Renaissance man. I wish I did not like him. I you wish, wish I did, did not. <laughs> no, not. I wish I did, did not. not. Yeah. It's I know. Hard he's not hard to not like to like him. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Great actor. Great. He's yeah. funny. Yeah. He's a great musician. Yeah. yeah. He, he reinvents a, himself. He wore a denim suit once. That was and got kids. away with it? Yeah. And wow. he, he dated Britney Spears and got away with it? Yeah, that's true. So. Not many people escape from that cleanly. It takes, yeah. it takes a strong man. <laughs> Justin got out. He got Jessica Biel, or Jessica Biel got him, but yeah. that's a whole uh, other story. Did anybody see Chris Tucker at the end? Chris Rock. Oh, no, I wrote Chris it Rock. Down. That's what I meant. Chris, Chris Rock, Rock, yeah. Was on where? Chris Rock. He stage? was just at the very end when they do the, like, in the, okay. In then the then awkward bowing? Yeah. yeah. Like all that. He was just off to the side. Yeah. Like hugging everybody there. doing the I Chris saw, Rock I saw thing. the same thing too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. It wasn't the episode, was no, it? I was afraid to miss something. No, but he was just standing there. Yeah, Do yeah. me and Chris Rock. That's yeah. Chris <laughs> probably just came down to hang out with Jimmy. Are you probably. Do that? Yeah, I just. Come I wonder. Up. I wonder who he's. I mean, he has to be close to one of those guys to kind of jump in there, but. So that, that about wraps up that episode, you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a wonderful uh, kind of fun Christmas episode. Uh, you guys should watch more SNL because you would enjoy it. I mean, compared to some of the things that you've ha that we've had to sit through for mm -hmm. these past couple episodes, this was great. Yeah. This oh. was great. Oh. So. Dave ruined it for me. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, I, I definitely agree. What's your grade, Keaton? Singing. What's my overall grade? Oh my goodness, B plus. Mm hmm B plus. What, what's yours, Malcolm? I was gonna say A minus, but now my world got shattered by <laughs> him. So I'm like, a musical B. theater geek though. So solid I can, B. Solid B. Solid B. Mm. Right. Yeah. Us talking about it's made me like it less. Honestly. <laughs> no, I think I he, mean made, that, like, honestly. he made you like it honestly, less. Honestly, <laughs> I came in here all stoked about it. And I'm I, like, oh he's right about I, a lot of this yeah. stuff. <laughs> I, I enjoy the show, but you know. <laughs> I've been doing sketch comedy for 30 yeah, years. Yeah, you, you notice everything. I'm like the stupid kid watching like late at night, like after a couple bottles of beer, and I'm like, this is great. Justin. By yourself, Malcolm, or please do no. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by my. Well, I kicked her out already, so because I went through yeah. the song appropriately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But now we have a new rule, so that we're endorsing. <laughs> yeah. So I can't do that anymore. So you'll take her on her courtesy date soon. Yes. Well, let's just jump into now. We're done with us now, you guys. Let's move on to Dave. All who, right. You are kind of Dave. Foley. I'm not crazy about me either. You're not crazy about you. <laughs> well, well, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know. I mean, if you any of you guys know uh, the kids in the hall, it's kind of like. Would you say a little bit of SNL ish? Uh, yeah, I guess. When it when it was on. I guess we were kind of like <laughs> we were uh, kind of the weird. Stepchild of SNL, or you know, we were like we were like Lauren's midlife crisis. Uh, he gave us our show, and uh, we were just, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. I guess we were just sort of an, uh, the alt comedy version of Saturday Night Live. Back, back. In fact, I think we were the first group ever to be called alt comedy. Really? I think. Really? I think, I think New Yorker called us alt comedy. Um, Hang on to that. I think so. I think it's the <laughs> earliest I'd ever heard the term used. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself, kind of a brief background and kind of, you know, what you do now and um, the, all the, all the, I mean, you do so much now. It's nuts. It's, uh, well, it's, I mean, mostly just, mostly what I do is in one form or another be a comedian. Mm -hmm. That's uh, mostly it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's obviously with the kids in the hall for, I've been mean, still doing stuff with the kids in the hall. I was actually did, did shows with them in Toronto just a couple of weeks ago. You were looking for a gorilla suit, right? <laughs> yes, we I were. saw that on your Twitter. <laughs> yes, yeah. That oh, was, yeah. I have a gorilla suit. Well, you, yeah, well, I actually <laughs> <did>. <laughs> Yeah, we needed a gorilla suit for a sketch. We were we because we 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 did these shows in Toronto where we got together on on a Friday, and the goal was that by by Monday we'd have ninety minutes of material together mm -hmm. of all okay. new material, and then we'd rehearse for two days and put the show up. So we did that, and one of the things that came out was we needed a gorilla suit. <laughs> That's did you right. get it? So yeah, we did get a gorilla suit. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just yeah. So I just thought, wow. All right, I'll just tweet see if anyone will bring us one. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think the so uh, tell us kind of how the kids in the hall started because it you, you kind of were just like with one of your buddies, right? That you worked at a theater with. And well, I, I, we worked at the theater after we started working together as comedians. Really? I met I met uh, I mean I would start I dropped out of high school to do stand up when I was a teenager, and and then I met uh, is that an iPhone? Yeah, probably. And then I met my uh, I then I met Kevin McDonald at Second City Workshop. Um, in uh, God, that was been like 1980, mm-hmm. I guess, or something like that. 81, somewhere way back then. Mm-hmm. Uh, and after that workshop, he asked me to join his improv team, which eventually became the first version of the Kids in the Hall, which was me and Kevin McDonald and a guy named Luch Casimiri. And then we uh, met Mark and Bruce's troupe, and we all sort of merged into one group, and then it be- it became kind of a hit thing in Toronto. And then Lorne Michaels. Uh, scouted us. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's really cool. So we got, yeah, so I guess 86, he came up and saw one of our shows and decided to give us our own show instead of breaking us up, which was his, entirely his call. Oh. Yeah, we were, nice all, we were all set to, to, to <laughs> say goodbye to each other. <laughs> we're <laughs> over on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, Lauren, it was uh, Lauren's call to, to not break the group up. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes me. Yeah, I'm always. I'm, awesome. I'm eternally grateful to Lauren for that. And then, you, and you guys made a movie. We made a movie that seven people saw. Okay, uh, called Brain Candy. Saw. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, largely because we insisted on having a character named Cancer Boy in it that really upset the president of Paramount Pictures. <laughs> oh. Can't imagine why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so they, so all of our advertising and we were pulled yeah. from pulled from about a thousand screens and our advertising budget was cut. <laughs> but we won the we, fight. Yeah, our principal <laughs> still. Yeah. yeah, we're not very smart. Well, I'm gonna be a little like self indulgent when I y- you're you're the voice of Flick. I am in uh, a Bug's Life, which I. That was my first date. Was oh. the same bug life. Whoa! <laughs> my my dad sat behind mm. me and my. Um, I was gonna say how old were you? I was very I was very. How very old young. were you? Wait, well, yeah. 1998. So I was I was like 10 years old. Yeah, so like, dating my, my daughter's age. Yeah. Well, yeah. My, it was like my best friend, like my best like guy friend growing up, and we were like, oh, do you want to go see a movie? And my dad went and sat right behind us, and this like so I was great. just like, like we were like even too, but it was a bug's life, and so that movie oh. has always held a very special place in my heart. Oh my gosh, you were talking <laughs> over like her first time she got handsy. Yeah. No, well, I was 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, like, Hand- come on, going to make the first move. <laughs> yeah. Handsy was being like, oh my god, we reached for the popcorn at the same time. Oh, I touched him. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, how did you kind of get involved in kind of doing voiceover work? Because you've done a, a lot since then. That was just, uh, they just called me in for an audition. Uh, this was like just after, the only film they made was Toy Story, mm-hmm. uh, the Pixar guys. Pixar, yeah. And so I remember actually uh, Steve Root and Vicki Lewis and I were all called into audition for it, and we all went together, We, all, who I worked with on news radio. Mm-hmm. And we went over, and the first time I went, when we all went, they all went, they went and did their auditions, and just before I was going to go in, they came out and said, I'm sorry, would you mind, Carol Burnett is here, would you mind if we took Carol in, in first? Oh my gosh. And I would go, of course not, <laughs> of course I don't mind, that's crazy, yes, <laughs> please. Um, but then I, they uh, ran out of time, and uh, Stephen, Vicky, and I had to go back to work, and uh, and they ran out of time. So the, I think they felt guilty because I was they, I was coming in to read for Slim, the stick insect character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I think they felt bad about about bumping me, so they they called me up and asked me to come in and read for Flick. <laughs> and I thought, oh, they're just being nice, but I'll go because yeah. I really want to meet John Lasseter and Andrew Stanton, mm-hmm. you know, because I think they're brilliant. And so I just went in to meet them. And they uh, and and started doing it, and you know, first off, before you even audition, they spend like forty minutes explaining to you how the, what the movie is and how it works, and showing you all the artwork. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's like sure. I was going, this is amazing. They're giving you know all of this background before you do your audition. Yeah. And uh, so then I started doing the scenes as Flick, and uh, and they started getting really excited, and they're talking, <laughs> you know, and they're going and like in the middle of the audition, uh, I, I, Andrew Stanton's starting to go, yeah, you know, but the way Dave's doing it, you know, if we if we rewrote this scene to be like this, <laughs> you know, because that would be better. But the way he, the way he's doing it makes me think of a whole different way, you know, and uh, and I had to go, hey, guys, you, have, you haven't hired me yet. <laughs> And they went, oh, oh, right. <laughs> uh, um, well, we'll, uh, 
<laughs> we'll, uh, well, thanks for coming Chuck in. Uh, we'll have our people call your people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so do you do like the voice? Roy, I wanted me asked you if you do the voice for the Bugs Life ride. I do. You yeah, do. Yeah. Is that trippy when you kind of have gone on that ride and? That's why we still go. We still go by it. I don't, we don't always ride it anymore, uh, but we always walk by it. At least on our way to Tower of Terror. Uh, I love Tower of Terror. So it's right next door to Tower of Terror. So <laughs> so we'll always go by and uh, and my daughter Alina will always go. That's my dad. Oh. Uh, whoever's with us. So Alina, what is it? What what has it been like, kind of growing up with with a dad who you know is a comedian and an actor and. You, the voice of Flick from A Bug's Life. <laughs> like, is that just so cool? Yeah, yeah come over here so you can, yeah, you can, come can over hear it. Let me scoot it over here. Um, here. <laughs> well, um, it can sometimes be fun. Cause of course, I get to brag to my friends about it. <laughs> and, um, um, and we get to go to awesome premieres and stuff for lots of Disney movies and mm -hmm. other and But, um... Sometimes on the streets, people will come up to him and be like, "Oh, Dave, I'm sorry. Can we please get a picture with you?" And we're trying to rush. And it can make it hard for us to get yes. places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, yeah. Alina. I mean, if, if you guys out there watching, Alina actually is on the awesome show, The League, which Malcolm is a huge fan of. I don't know if I was you guys. About to say, if you guys are walking on, she's Ella. I know. Her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> so, uh, how do you feel about your daughter kind of going into the business now? And are any of your other kids Kids, uh, in going into it, or uh, no, just it's just Alina so far, and I'm very bitter <laughs> uh, about her about her skill and her youth. Um, no, it's it's fun. I mean, she enjoys she enjoys doing it, mm -hmm. and uh, she just I think you, she just really loves she loves acting and performing. Um, you know, but I think you you get as much out of doing your school play as yeah. doing the league. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was just the scarecrow in uh, <gasps> Wizard of Oz. Oh, quite, quite a, brilliant, right. a brilliant performance. Well, I, I wouldn't. I would not imagine you do any less than a brilliant performance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. So you've seen a lot of your dad's work, um, and you have been basically a guest star on in the past 10 years, probably on every sitcom, Just comedy. <laughs> like, if you guys go to his IMDb, it's absolutely insane, every show that he's been on. What has been your favorite show that you have been a part of? Whether uh, it's the character, whether it's the people you're working with. Do you mean as a guest spot? Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, guest spot and, yeah. you know, and regular. Yeah, I mean, the right, obviously, Kids on the Hall and News Radio were mm -hmm. yeah. the two most important things. Uh... One of my favorite things I did outside of that was uh, Earth to the Moon, mm -hmm. which was a long time ago, but where I got to play an astronaut. I got to play the fourth man on the moon. So that was cool and got to hang out with real nice. astronauts. So you uh, go to space camp? Uh, no, but we we were in Florida. <laughs> we, were, we were in Florida, and... Uh, and uh, I got to, our technical advisor was Dave Scott, who was commander of Apollo 15, so I got to hang out with him every day. Wow. Um, Wait, Dad, yeah. didn't you sit next to an astronaut on an airplane once? I sat next to Buzz Aldrin. Oh, yeah. The day after uh, Neil Armstrong died. Oh, I was flying, oh yeah. <laughs> goodness. Highs and lows oh, with that sentence. Wow. Yeah, but it was, yeah, I was flying home from, uh, I forget where I was flying home from, uh, but I was, uh, maybe... I can't remember, maybe Seattle or something like that. But I was sitting next to to uh, Buzz Aldrin. Very cool. Who was very nice. And we chatted, we chatted all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I would let him not talk to me if I was sitting yeah, next to yeah. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> like, you don't put those headphones in, I will continue <laughs> yeah. talking at you. <laughs> Weird thing was watching him that he, uh, on takeoff and landing, he sits and looks out the window. Really? <laughs> You think you think if anyone's bored with yeah. flight, but he's like a kid. That's great. That's Watching really take funny. off and landing, I was going, "Wow, you landed on the moon!" Oh, I love that story. Yeah, I really like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So, so what has been your favorite guest star spot? Uh, I, you know, one show I loved. I love doing. Um, I actually just did an episode this week of uh, Hot in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I saw is, you tweeted about that too. Which is really fun, just because it's everyone is so good on yeah. it. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, and obviously Betty White is just you know a goddess. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> but all of them are fantastic. They're all really, and everyone. It's just you know, there's also writers from news radio are working mm -hmm. on that show as well, and so it's just uh, you know, it's just a really fun show of just incredibly professional, talented people. So that's mm -hmm. fun to do. Uh, doing the middle has been fun. I've had a lot of fun doing episodes mm -hmm. of the middle. Lately, uh, what else have I been doing? 
Well, you you do. Can, you you act. You produce. You're a stand-up comic. You're yeah. a writer. You are you're a man of all trades. What's your favorite thing to do? What do you what do you enjoy doing most? Watching TV. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, you mean work? Just not SNL. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I. Uh, I mean. I, mean, I I think the the most fun of all is when I'm performing stuff I've written. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and occasionally directing it as well. I mean, that's like just where you just feel like you're completely just, you know, expressing what you want to do. Yeah. So that's that's obviously incredibly fun, but you don't get to do that that often. Um, but uh, you know, uh, acting. I like acting is easier, so I like that about it. Mm -hmm. Writing is hard and horrible. I hate writing. <laughs> uh, do my do everything I can to avoid writing. Uh, put it off till whenever deadlines come rolling around. Uh, but definitely, uh, yeah, probably, probably yeah, enjoy yeah, enjoy acting more. Yeah. But like having written. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's awesome, Malcolm. Do you have any questions? I I feel like I'm just like taking over. I have a whole list. So what's the league like? <laughs> <laughs> what's Paul Shear really like? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really fun to be on. Everyone's really nice to me. They yeah. usually try not to swear too much in front of me. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Unless it's um, in the script. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, this season, I got to work with some animals. Um, really? I worked with a whole bunch of puppies, and <gasps> this one really sweet puppy named Chloe. Yeah, it was a freaky puppy. Yes, but yeah. she was adorable yeah. at the same time. Um, <laughs> I got to work with a bird. I'm forgetting his name right now, but... Um, a, a dancing bird. Whoa. <laughs> he would crawl to the top of his cage off camera and start waving his head. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, very, very cool. That's so cool that you get to. I know. That How? was the last two years ago you worked with a monkey. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you worked with Jackie Chan, didn't you? Yes, yes. I did. What was that extra. like? Um, I don't remember it very well, but like. <laughs> she was five. I was yeah. five years old uh -huh. when I did it. Um, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, Jackie Chan was really nice and funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep, he loved you. Yeah. <laughs> Offset, he would always flip me around. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other kids were really nice. Um, one of them, um, the kid who played my brother, Will, um, actually ended up going to my school afterwards. Before that, he had been homeschooled. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. And, yeah, I still know, I still know, uh, yeah, I think... I still know both of them. Um, I got to work with lots of animals on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. guessing you like yeah. animals. <laughs> I'm an animal freak. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. vegetarian. Oh, yeah. that, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Right. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Uh, yeah, I have let's see three dogs. Well, two dogs, one alien. Um, <laughs> I just... I have, Falcor. Is that fair? Is that, <laughs> yeah, Falcor's one, a weird dog. Yes. <laughs> um, one frog... Um, a robot uh, dinosaur. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, at one point I had a pig. <gasps> yep, we used to have a pot belly pig. Oh my goodness! Oh my it's just yeah. like George Clooney. <laughs> 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 I, pigs are so cute and they're yes. so smart. Mm -hmm. I just got a dog, so uh -huh. I'm like obsessed with animals too. So, what's next for both of you guys in 2014? I guess you guys have um, a lot coming up. Well, I did a I did a sitcom in Canada that's going to start airing in Canada in February. Like oh. right after Are you allowed to say the name? Yeah, it's called Spun Out. It's about a PR firm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, yeah, cool. and I uh, was shoot in Toronto. Uh, so that'll be doing it up there. If it uh, well, they're going to start airing them. So if anyone likes it, we'll probably make more of them. Mm -hmm. We did thirteen. <laughs> um, and uh, and you're still doing the league. Mm -hmm. That's coming up. Yeah, we're going to start. The Fifth season? No, sixth. Sixth season. Season uh, on, next Dad. year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, where can we? And she's starting middle school. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Well, Holy smokes. screw TV. Like, let's talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the same age as Keaton when she had her first date. Have you been on a date yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> And I do not plan to. <laughs> I'm sure girl. your dad enjoys hearing He's that. Like, yes. <laughs> I've done my job. <laughs> I've put her off men. <laughs> awesome. Well, where can we find more information about you guys and follow you guys um, in your careers? I don't know. <laughs> some, I have a Twitter feed. For what? some reason, you have a Wikipedia. I do have for a Wikipedia. For some reason. Yeah. <laughs> some reason. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. I have a t I'm t on Twitter at, as Dave S. Foley. Okay. And I have a Facebook page I never check. 
Uh, get on the Twitter, people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. on Instagram, but my mom doesn't want me to follow or no. let anyone follow me no. that I don't know. Yeah. So. Hi, then, yeah, you don't have to talk I mean, to yeah. us. <laughs> you're a kid. Yeah. <laughs> follow, follow, watch the league, guys. Watch the league. It's a really <laughs> funny show. It's a really funny show. Well, Malcolm, do you have anything you want to you want to follow up with? Or are you good? I, I'm all starstruck now. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, do you want to do you want to chime in anything else or? I you, can, no, I can't no? think of anything. Oh. Well, thank you guys both for being here. It's it's been an awesome way to end this year's SNL. Yes. And uh, Merry Christmas, Malcolm. Where can we find you? At Malcolm WHW. And you guys can find me on Twitter at KeatonM33. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. See you guys in 2014. Merry Christmas, Happy yeah. New Year. Woo. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.